This video is Dubsado versus HoneyBook in 2024. I haven't done this video since 2020 and it was one of my most popular videos. So I wanted to update it because so much has changed. Both of these systems are great for managing clients. I have been using them both for many years now and absolutely love both of them, but for slightly different reasons and different clients. So I want to help you decide which one is right for you. I'm an educator with both of these systems, so I'll link my discount codes below so that you can get 30 to 50% off of your first year with either of these systems. So I'm going to start with Dubsado because it's what I use most actively in my business. The main reason is because I started here and everything is here and I haven't switched over. So getting started is going to be like the hardest part of either of these systems. And if I were starting today, I might potentially make a different decision, but everything is here already. And so, uh, I'm going to start here. This is my dashboard where I can see everything that's going on. There's a little bit of customization you can do here. Uh, you'll see like tasks, financials. This is a demo account that I have with no real client information. So it looks a little bleak, but there's always going to be a little bit more. I always spend most of my time on the project section. And this is where you can see every project that you've brought in. So you can see any leads that come in. And what I love about uh, both of these systems is that you can embed a lead form directly into your website and it will automatically pull all that client info into Auto or HoneyBook for you as a lead. Um, so this is where we'll see all of our projects. This is a test one. And when you go into the project, you can see so much. These, this is where all of your emails will be with that client, um, your invoices, your forms, which I'll show you in a second, any appointments. Workflows is like next level. So check out my video on that if you're interested in diving in, but it is, it's next level in my opinion. Um, and then tasks and notes, which are anything that you want to write, the client cannot see those. Also on this projects page, um, you have different uh, buckets that you can put everyone in. So we have like leads, jobs, um, combined and archive but you can actually customize this entire section. So for, I'm a stationary designer, so it could be like, you know, design phase, printing phase, et cetera. And you can keep all your jobs um, moving through like that. And you can kind of automate how they flow through in the workflow section as well. Um, on the side, you'll see a few other things. I'm going to go to templates first because I think this is just the easiest and most powerful thing about these systems is kind of templatizing and keeping everything in the same place, easily accessible. So your forms, you have contracts, subcontracts, uh, subagreements, questionnaires, proposals, and then lead captures. Lead captures are the ones I was talking about. You can embed it on your form or on your website. And anytime someone fills this out, you'll get an email. And then that lead capture will also go in as a lead into Dubsado. So it'll already be in here. You don't have to like type in the client information, which is really great. And you can customize all of this. Probably my favorite thing about Dubsado is just that when you're working on the forms, everything is the same. They have a new form builder since the last time I filmed this video and I have a whole video just on that. Um, but I just want to show you, for example, what that looks like. So that's everything over here. And all of these different features are going to be pretty much the exact same for every type of form. So if you're doing a lead capture, a questionnaire, a contract, you'll be able to do short answer images, text box, like all of these different things are going to be the same for every single form. There might be a few things like um, there's a signature block in the contract option. There's not a signature block in some of the other form types because they're not necessary. But overall, all the forms can be like decorated and formatted in the same way. You can add a photo to any of them. You can add questions to any of them. You can add a drop down or checkbox or date select to any of them. And with their new form builder, you can really edit things like in line. Um, so you can just type in uh, the name of the questionnaire, which could be like invitation questionnaire and put it in here. I don't have some of my pretty like done up forms in this sample account, but you can see them in some of the other videos. Another great option is your canned emails. So this is going to be any email template such as, hey, thanks for joining the family. Here's a few resources that might be uh, available to you or how you want to respond to someone filling out your lead capture, someone paying, a payment reminder, you know, you filled out the contract. Here's the email. You can customize all of those different emails and create your own. And then packages is going to be all the different things that you sell, basically. So you can change all these packages. They can have as many line items as they want 
And then when you're creating an invoice, you can just select a specific package and you can give them like all of the different things to choose from, whether they want to add on a certain package or not. Um, and it just templatizes like everything that you sell basically. Now, so as reporting features are good. I don't use them in place of QuickBooks. I like to use QuickBooks. Um, they integrate with QuickBooks and I think it works fairly well, um, but they are going to give you like some really basic overview kind of stuff. And for me, a lot of my business comes in from a lot of different places. So Dubsado is not the only place that I am getting money and therefore it's not a full picture of how my entire business is doing. But their reports are pretty decent for a small overview of like everything that's coming into Dubsado. And if you are accepting all of your payments here in Dubsado, then it's going to be, um, the reports are going to be decent, a little bit better for you. I still don't think they're as good for tracking like credit card expenses and things like that, you'd have to enter all of that manually. Um, so I don't really use it in place of an accounting software, but it's it's decent. <laughs> they give good reporting that will help you with like understanding your project sources and the breakdown of um, different sources. So like if you're getting a lot of leads from a certain place, um, total number of inquiries, average project per week, those kind of things. Those are a lot of the main like starting features that I recommend in Upsado and recommend kind of making your decision based around. Um, see which see which interface you like better as I'm comparing them. Um, another thing that you, might help you make your decision is your payment settings. So if you can connect to Stripe, Square, or PayPal, then you can connect any of those into Dubsado. So, and you can use Dubsado anywhere in the world as long as you can connect to one of their payment processors. So that's the main uh, issue with Dubsado. And if you aren't able to connect to one of those payment processors, but honestly, these are worldwide and work really well. So I do love that there's a lot of uh, payment processing flexibility here and a few different options just in case you do or do not like one more than the other. So let's talk about HoneyBook. Here is our dashboard. You can already see it's a, it's got similar information, but it is a different interface. So I think that's something that a lot of people make their decision on is just which interface they like better. This one's kind of uh, got a modern one. It's changing a little bit more. The Dubsado one has not changed in many, many years. If you look back at my 2020 video, pretty much everything in Dubsado is approximately the same, whereas HoneyBook has had a lot of changes and are projecting a lot of new changes as well. Something that HoneyBook has that Dubsado doesn't is a mobile app. So if working on the go is really, really important to you, then I would definitely check out HoneyBook. Um, Dubsado is theoretically working on this and hoping to get it out, I think, in 2024 or 2025, but it hasn't really been like a huge uh, urgent priority for them. So just keep that in mind. Um, hopefully they're working on it soon. <laughs> So you'll go into your products tab and that's going to be very, very similar to what everything is um, in Dubs Auto. You can see all of my different clients. One thing that's interesting is if you work with a lot of other vendors that use HoneyBook, you can see all of those projects in here. If you do any like personal work, um, you can see that in here. If you have like when I was doing my wedding, I could actually see like here's my makeup package right here for my own wedding. <laughs> that was several years ago. So that's still in here. Um, but you'll see all the projects. You can customize this to a certain extent. You can't delete um, some of the options, but you can always add and move things around a little bit. Um, if you have a ton, a ton, a ton of projects and you need to like upload them by spreadsheet or something, HoneyBook is going to be better for you. Dubsado, you have to upload projects uh, manually or through the lead capture form. Now, the template section is where HoneyBook has really upped their game recently. I used to say um, that Dubsado was much better for stationary designers because of that subcontract option in the forms. Uh, because in HoneyBook, you weren't able to get a second legally binding signature. And we always need that on our design proofs before we go to print. So we have our contract and then we need the design proof to be signed off on. You can now do that in HoneyBook because they've basically created something called their templates or smart files. And a smart file can connect any of these different types of blocks. So invoice, contract, questionnaire, services, or scheduler can all be combined into a smart file. And it is kind of like a document that takes your client through everything. I have a whole video on this, but I'm gonna show you our wedding invitation proof template just to give you an example of how it all works. So you see we have six different pages here and we have color, we have text, we have some images here. So this is just like, here's the overall vibe of your invitation and you can customize all of this. You can also set brand settings um, so that each smart file that you open has your brand settings already in it, has like your fonts and your colors and everything already kind of in it. And then we have our individual proofs. So like this is the invitation. 
And they can include any feedback for just this piece right here, which is really awesome. And then go to the next page, do the same thing. And we go to the final page. I've added a few more questions on here. And then also this is what I mentioned at the contract block. So we have like standard blocks with text, images, et cetera. And then here is a contract block that will include the legally binding signature that we need in order to print these with full approval that will protect us just in case there are any typos or anything that accidentally get approved. So these smart files have been a huge, huge addition to HoneyBook. And I just want to kind of explain, like you can do a proposal that has a contract option, an invoice option, and a payment option all in there. So you would go through the full contract, the full invoice, and the full payment all on the same document. And you can customize all of these, add pictures, add text to your clients, etc. So any of these things, you can do a scheduler and then have an invoice at the end with a payment so that they can schedule a call with you and then they have to pay for that call. Um, you can have a questionnaire also with invoice and payment so they have to buy something and then they can go ahead and answer the questions about it. So you can mix and match basically all of this. And I think this is just such a cool thing that HoneyBook has done because it's basically a way to do all of those same form options that we have in Dubs Auto, but you can really combine a lot of them together and a lot of the functionality together. So I think this has been a huge step up for HoneyBook. I'm gonna hover over these tools so you can see all the different things that HoneyBook can do, but I don't wanna overwhelm you. I think Smart Files will combine a lot of the forms. We have a lot of the same project features that we do in Dubsado. And then I do wanna show you reporting because I like it a little bit more here in HoneyBook. I think they have a little bit more to offer and I know what's on their docket for improving and I think this is just gonna get better. Um, so they have kind of your monthly sales report and they break it down into like book versus sent files, types of projects booked, um, the value and the conversion and the time to book and everything. So I think they're giving you metrics that are very helpful to your business and helpful to growing your business. Um, they're not they're still not as good as just an accounting software at this point. I think they have some things uh, where you will be able to connect outside bank accounts, credit cards, etc. So I think that will be better. But right now, I think some of these reports are just a little bit more helpful uh, for your business and everything that's happening specifically within HoneyBook in your business than I think with Dubs Auto. Both platforms do integrate with QuickBooks, but again, I don't think either one is a replacement for QuickBooks. Um, their payments, this is something people either love or don't love about HoneyBook, is that they do all of their own payment processing. Uh, so there's no additional fee for payment processing outside of the like 2.9, which is basically the same as uh, Square, Stripe, PayPal, everything over in Dubsado. So if you want to specifically use one of these accounts, then I would go with Dubsado. But if you don't have any of those accounts specifically and um, you want everything to just be processed with, within one system, then go with HoneyBook. A couple other small deciding factors for me, um, HoneyBook is only available in the U.S. and Canada, whereas, I, as I mentioned, Dubsado is available anywhere in the world as long as you can connect to one of their payment processors, which I think PayPal is pretty much everywhere in the world. And then HoneyBook has a Chrome extension. I have a whole other video on this, um, but if you do use Chrome often and you use Gmail for your business, it basically brings all of your projects and information into your Google inbox. And I don't use Gmail for my business, but this would be a huge deciding factor for me because it is so, so helpful. So when a client sends you an email, um, you're in your email inbox and then HoneyBook is like right there next to you saying, oh, is this associated with this project or should I start a project for them? And it fills in some of that information. So super helpful there. And if you use Gmail, I think that would be a big deciding factor for me. Truly, both of these systems have so much more than I could ever show you, but what I think is most powerful about these systems is the simple things. Honestly, these forms are what I think most people use these systems for. So the canned emails, the packages, contracts, questionnaires, proposals, lead captures, all of that same information is going to be available in both of these. It's just about how you put it together. So I think Dubsado is a little bit more um, streamlined. It's a little bit more like simple to figure out at the beginning. And then HoneyBook, you have just so much flexibility that you can do a lot more variety of things. You can put these together in whatever variety of ways works for you. But um, it might be a little bit trickier at first because you have, you know, 
unlimited options with how you put it all together. So big things that I would pay attention to, if you use Gmail, definitely try out the HoneyBook Chrome extension, watch that video. If you're not in the US and Canada, then Dubsado is gonna be the only option of these two available for you. If you care about the payment processing, then that can give you an answer either way. Um, but otherwise, I would definitely recommend checking out my playlist on both of these, seeing some of the individual features that you might use and working out, like kind of drawing out your process flow of what happens between when a client contacts you and the last time that you talk to that client and just seeing what different pieces you need and are most important to you. Whichever one of these systems you go with, you really can't go wrong. I love them both so much. Um, and I do have discount codes that I'll put in the description for you on both HoneyBook and Dubsado. Let me know what questions you have and what other features you'd like me to dive further into in the comments of this video. Thanks everyone.